How are we doing, guys? Welcome back to Rogue Trader. So, last time we went through, explored the nobility station, we made up a control rod and did some digging into what's going on here. We found out the keeper who we just fought and killed was, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say a heretic, but he certainly was murdering a lot of good people. So, unsure if that was zealous imperial purging or heretical, so... Anyway, he's dead now. We don't have to care about it. Uh, we do have to level up, and then we will it's go see time. if we can find our navigator. We who is up act. this elevator hero. Again. For some reason, this bug keeps happening where when we press level up on our guy, even though she's in depth. Um, yeah, she's not. So, let's have a look. Ooh, there's more stuff down here. Oh god, we can get Eldari and Drukari weapons. They're going to be overpowered as hell. Um, increase wounds. So yeah, we're just going to have a quick... Character has mastered all... So increases minimal damage by two. That's that's alright, but only if you're using a single weapon. We're currently double weapon, so I guess that's not that useful. Dodge penalty against Laz. That's kind of cool. Parry and melee. Increase move two... Okay, so there's some more interesting feats down there I hadn't seen before. What we got here? Sniping spot. Increased armor pen. I mean, we haven't found anything so far that's got ridiculous amounts of armor. Also, most combats are happening within seven of us, so I guess that's not that useful yet. Uh, additional ballistic skill and damage for every... So it's perception int stacking, which is what our build is. This is kind of cool. Oh, it's half end. That's still two damage per every five. That's kind of cool. Um, in adept, use precise attack on target with more than or equal to ten minus the adept's int bonus. That'd be six for us. <laughs> it will be a crit. Okay. Okay. I think I see some builds going on here. Like the spare, comprehensive study. If there is more than one, if there is only one enemy, they gain plus two stacks of clue. One enemy is within ten. Well, we're not supposed to be within ten. Okay, so I think with a depth, you either choose to be very close or very far away. In which case, we will go far away because we're trying to be a sniper. Um, and we stack int, percep int perception. We go for things like this. Because they only need to be 11 cells away in 25. I think the first one we pick up, though, is sharpshooter. Because that requires less cells. And also is just benefits from both. So, if we're going int perception... Which we have multiple ways. I wonder whether this should have a bonus for having it twice. Obviously it doesn't at the moment, but some kind of bonus for it would be kind of cool. I think we push up int. Interesting int stays at 45 there. Am I seeing that wrong? wonder if that's displaying correctly. Um, let's grab int for now. Yeah. Int 45 to 45. What? wonder if that's a bug. So, what did we go with? We went to sharpshooter. Just, just this is a bug noting thing. That it's not actually upgrading. Because that should be 50. But it's displaying as 40. Or is that displaying after? Maybe we've got a wound or something? It's weird. Okay. Well, we'll grab in, and maybe it'll solve itself. Maybe it's just a display bug. Yeah, there we go. It's 50. That's weird. Also, did our ballistic skills shoot up? <laughs> That's weird. Okay. 
wonder if they need to fix that display a bit more, because that shouldn't be happening. What's this? Oh yeah, this is the taunt one. We do have several enemies that are, like, when Abelard goes in, he ends up stuck in combat with them sometimes, so... Anything that gives him toughness is what we're going for. And then this... I mean, I think we go with... Athletics and toughness, just trying to keep him in the fight, almost. What did this benefit off? Strength, toughness, neither of them are together. I'm going to go with the uh, quirk. I'm just going to stack these two on him. Try and keep him up. You, what do you have? So, do you have anything interesting down here? Ooh, you get psi ratings. Okay, so that's level 10, 20. Okay, so every 10 levels you can get it. What level are we going to? 5 to 6. Ooh, and then you get divination. This is kind of cool. Um, this is all the stuff they don't tell you about. You're just going to roll down. Um, ooh, that's kind of good. When using a divination psychic power, basically it negates a crit. So when we buff somebody with her... What was it? Right? The ability that makes them less likely to get hit, we can also make them not get crit if they do get hit. Which is, you know, pretty useful. Um, now, question is, we have quite high willpower on her. Do we push it higher or do we try get int and perception up on her? Because adepts do stack on int perception. I think we push willpower to 60 because that gets you another willpower bonus. So yeah, and that will hopefully help out, and then we'll start stacking int perception after this. Probably int first, because hers is really low. It's actually really bad. I wonder why they've made her in a debt with a no int. I guess because she's a psycho. You, um, what's your main skill? Dem. Demolition is quite high, so we don't have to worry about buffing that so much. I think we just keep going on ballistic skill. Ballistic skill is always useful for your main gunner, which is what she is. And then what do we have here? Controlled shot. Basically, don't do friendly fire. Gains bonuses. Available after free kills. Oh, so this is kind of a... If she stays up, she's really good. And we did give her a grenadier trait. So if we can get a grenade, a grenade on her, that could trigger that. Like, for free. I like that. I like that combo. Okay. Um, yeah. Just something we've got to figure out, though, later on. Do we have grenades? I kept asking this question. I don't think we ever got to the bottom of it. Well, you should have that pistol, because that's really good. I think we put them... You have the toughness helmet. Hmm. Shotgun, just trying to figure out if there's any of this stuff I should actually be wearing. I don't think we need the logic check bonus. That there is good. And she has the warp bonus. Oh yeah, that's why getting willpower up was good, because that's more on law warp. She should always pass law warp, that's kind of her entire purpose in the party. Other than that, I don't think we have anything, like, required. I do, however, want to equip these, because they don't think the long las has, like, overpen. Like, it doesn't go through multiple people, whereas the single shot might. So we'll swap between these two. Yeah, okay. Still can't equip Medicaid on her, which is weird. Maybe it's like a skill somewhere I'm not figuring out, but I feel like she should be able to equip Medicare on an adept. Alright, well enough of that. Let's figure out if we made this correct. So, here we go. Well, it went on, so I guess we did it. What the heck? Oh yeah, it did say she was a ridiculously powerful psycho that messed with everybody around her. I guess this is it. 
Cassia, the pale figure with unnaturally long limbs, stands with her arms raised. She's not standing. Uh, her hands formed with talon-like nails, her deathly pale face coated with blood that continually streams from the scarlet misted eyes. The spiny gills slightly hidden under her disheveled hair twitches nervously when you approach. Only now do you notice the woman's third eye, or, uh, sorry, the uh, third eye on the young woman's forehead, hidden by a jeweled ornament. Uh, and when your eyes meet, you sense overwhelming soul-smothering power. Oh, okay. I mean, thank God Idris, like, uh, sorry, Idris, but that's why you buff this skill. Like, basically that's a guaranteed thing if you can get it to 60 willpower. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I can imagine coming in here and not having that and being minorly screwed. Okay, so, uh, you're enveloped in sparing grief, and this wolf hand closes around your throat, cutting off your breath. Your limbs seem to fill with lead, your heart hammers in your chest. And the desire to turn around and flee from this room, from this station, almost gets the better of you. At the last moment, you master your emotions and your will pushes back against the illusion, forcing it to retreat. Okay, so we can either ask Avalon what's going on, and tell the sister to kill it. Um, okay, so this requires benevolent to a level and then overcome this? That's cool. Uh, basically just stand there and ignore it. Uh, plead with her, yell at her, shoot her, and attack. I think we're going to go with the uh, benevolent approach. So that's the idea. So, yeah. I know why I'm here, and so I will strang str stand strong against any illusion. Hey, we gain more but Like, being benevolent gets you more burden. This is the same thing they did in Mass Effect, where it's just, it, it, you had to start that way and then keep going. Um, you direct all your attention inwards to your, to your heart, currently shackled by another suffering. Under the gaze, your burning inner eye. I didn't know we had a burning inner eye. Uh, the despair and pain dwindle. The darkness of your soul dissipates. The lumping of your throat shrinks. Discover that you are standing in front of the bizarre creature, a young woman whose tears you seem to have dried along with your own. Okay, she's recovered. Uh... She wearily shakes her head and lets out a drawn sound similar to both a sob and a howl of a small wounded elf. What, what is happening? Was that someone calling my name? Are the betrayers already dead? Uh, and you, who are you? So we can either introduce ourselves, just say straight up we're a navigator looking for uh, a... <laughs> that's a bit bold, even for me. Uh, matters a little. Be a dick. Stand there silently. Uh, be a dick. I think we'll go with the first one. Uh, Attach you, Valencius. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Unease set, uh, settles over her face, which is not cautiously. Part of my manners, Attachi. I did not expect to meet such a gracious acquaintance in time of great sorrow for our house. What is this? I feel fate. And. <laughs> As usual, massive amounts I could burst, something come out of it, and damn it. I'm sure when she wakes up, no problems will have occurred. Uh, the heavy set old man who has been kneeling nearby erupts into low sobs. His eyes, swollen from crying, dart desperately around the room as though the veil of ignorance has just been ripped away from them. The child, Lady Cassia, where are you? The sacred child, thrown preserved, despite his venerable age, the navigator leaps to. The okay, so at least this navigator seems to be on her side. The other one definitely seemed to be a bit of a dick. So, what's going on? You! Uh, the old man shifts, revealing his face to you. He's afraid of a jet black veins, bold, <laughs> and his bulging, milky eyes bare, the striking resemblance to those of a dead fish. Okay, yeah, interesting insult to throw in there. Um, a sickly scent assaults your nostrils, as if the old man's flesh is rotting inside his decaying heart. Okay, so this is the blind version. Okay, so. We were right to kill the guy downstairs, that's for certain. Now we have to deal with the blind end of it, which I guess we either have to persuade or just kill. My eyes fail me, I thought they are unable to make out, make you out as either an enemy or an ally. I'm warning you, one wrong move and one wrong move will bring the wrath of House Aurelia, Aurelia, I'm sure how to pronounce that, down your head. Uh, 
Okay, so we can either try persuade him that we are just figuring out what's going on, try do it from a commercial standpoint of just, uh, I came here seeking essentially a favour, and just be a dick. Um, I guess we try one of these. 50% on that one, 48, so not really that much of a difference. 2%. I say that it's gonna it's gonna roll like a forty nine, isn't it? Um, I think we go with this one because we are still trying to figure out what's going on. Hey, we get benevolent as well, <laughs> even better. Um, so, I'll grant you, you do not look like pirates come coveting riches of a wreck station or like scoundrels and flex service. So, who are you? Uh, so we just say, but actually, Bob Legend, Rogue Trader. We already said this. <laughs> Another Rogue Trader in our colleague. How interesting. Your kind always seem to make an appearance in desperate times, ready to cut a deal with the benefits of one side alone. No, he's not wrong. <laughs> Given that you have not so far drawn your weapons, despite the fact we're all holding them, <laughs> um, your intentions are probably peaceful, and so how Ocilia. Now ask you a service of you. Save a life the child in exchange for a future corporation. Do not hurry to answer, think on it. You can make yourself an ally or an enemy of our house today, you decide. What is the curse that's taken hold of everyone in this room? Um I think we asked the top one. Uh, curse, you do not understand. The sacred gift is given to our child. When the child is sad, we all weep. When the child smiles, we all <laughs> laugh. If the child wants blood, the chaos the world turns to crimson. The child's will is the will of the great Tessiphon. For she is the heir house of Cilia. Okay. Uh, you look frightening. Um, you are not supposed to see me or Fleck the, or the sac uh, sacred child. Navigators are highly paid for their lawyer serves the villain according to his will. No one would ever no one would dare judge the guise of humanity, the chosen Okay, he was just picking himself up. Okay. What service do you ask of me? Uh, no, I think we'll skip that one. We'll go to I want to know what happened between you and Fe uh Felek. Felek is my wayward student. He came to her the station as a whole call you personally mentored him and trusted him to take with the care of the child. He was like a son to me, but he proved just another traitor. He sought to steal our most precious at the end of a house of a child, to revel in the power uh, prevent the centuries-long traditions of our house. You could see the fruits of his villainy yourself. He's decided he was not bound by his duties. The legacy of the great nervous. Uh... Let our house from sincerity. So Tessiphon is like the leader of their house. Which boy, the renegades clad in his mind, they sought to seize control of the dynasty before the sacred child has come of age and taken up the navigator's throne. Um What service do you ask? Her? We'll ask this now. Uh Hope Glimmers and the uh, milky eyes. Save the sacred child. Take her away from the station. I fear I do not have long left. So he's dying. So we don't have to bother about killing him. Um, save the child and deliver it to Regent Aranta. The guy who visited? Acting head. Oh, so Tessifor must be dead? That's interesting. I'm assured that the reward would be worth your effort. You're talking as if you expect to die here? My service to house is coming to an end. The wounds inflicted on my flesh will never heal. I am dying. Praise the throne slowly. Enough to see that child is taken care of. Um, I guess we offer medic. I know the other guy was bad, and this guy at least seems full of tradition. Well, Imperial tradition probably seems like torture. It, uh, it's better than what the other guy was planning on doing. Um, off of the Medicaid desk. No, I am keeper of the station. I will perish along the station. On that note, I have other matters to attend to. <laughs> I'm dying. Leave me be. Um, I guess we'll ask this. I don't know what he'll say. Uh, Fellow accused you of treachery, Fearbolt. Why should I trust your words? 
defending myself before Stranger, I never thought I'd fall so low. If the child's life were not at stake very well, I have no choice or proof of my innocence. Give my word that as a member of the Navis Nobility, if the honest word of an honor and work counts for anything to you. I guarded this station against calamity incursions from without and to the best of my ability, I forced the wardens to strictly observe security protocols. I personally selected every servant. Cool. Okay, so, yeah, not much there. How do you lose control of your own station? Do not thrust my arrows in my face. I am twice your age, twice as wise. Probably more than twice your age, given the sounding of this. Uh, take my advice. Trust no one but the emperor, but yourself and the emperor. Even those closest to you will pay for gold, power, and the far-fetched idea of a bright future. Uh, I believe I have made my decision. Um, is that so? Perhaps here are your thoughts. We can either... Take the navigator. Kill the guy who's dying already, so there's no point doing that. Um, or refuse. I mean, we need the navigator, let's be honest. I don't trust this guy to live very long, so this is entirely pointless. And she, at least when she came out of her psychic nonsense, seemed good. I don't want to say good, but not, not evil. So... Yeah, I guess we'll go with Cassia shall come with me. Good, that is good. But do allow us to uh, say our proper farewells. And she magically gets back up. Okay. Wake up, mistress, my sacred child. It is all over now. It is all over. Uh, what happened? You, I remember you. Did you arrive to save us? Child, please listen very carefully for one last time. You will embark on a voyage with this lady and rejoin the house and its reagent in the current expanse. I will not be able to accompany you just for a variety of reasons. Another trick of blue blood runs down the old man's face, this time from nose to ear. Uh, from nose and ear. Um, no, not you two. I don't leave me in this violet brown haze. You're coming with me. Your mistress demands that you hear uh, the heat of despair that is not your own watches over you. She's getting emotional again. Uh, mistress, I fear that this will be... Sorry. I fear this will only order... I dare disobey. Uh, I'm the keeper of the station. Less than a day left in me. Allow me to serve one last time. For honor. Uh, I will make the station destroy its secrets it holds. Okay. Oh, Feobald. Uh, crimson tears stain the navigator's white skin once again. But this time her power does not make everyone weep along. Good. She can at least have some control over it. Um, so we can either be a dick. Um, I think we'll try and be nice. So I regret we met her under such circumstances. What need have I for your regrets? I just want things to go back the way we were. Okay, she's a kid. She's a kid. What, what are you going to do with me? Um, we can either basically force her into service navigation be nice or be honest that's the bot one the bot one is actually just be honest um, I mean we are being benevolent so I guess this one I don't want to force her into it but kind of has to uh, Lady Cassia, I, attention to Tati von Lynch's rogue trade with the Imperium Bank, offer you protection, grant you shelter aboard my vessel. Making an unfavorable one of the other side just, just like I thought. You do not have an ounce of honor in you. Okay. Child, let this deed be a lesson to you. Uh, you cruel lesson, but you will have to accept the state of affairs. Uh, basically, I think if any of them you get this response because we picked the nicest one we can technically even offer her a deal but we still got this remember what happens when you reach uh what matters is that you reach with the region okay i beg your pardon what about my servants it's full of loyal people that has her um we either just say screw it we're gonna find new ones wherever Take everyone a bit. I provide you with every necessity. Naturally, this includes the servants. Um, I guess we try and take everyone. I mean, everyone who's left should be loyal 
ish. So, yeah. Wait, we have plenty of space. Uh, ponders your words for a short while. I, as late navigator, say, will accept your grace's offer of protection. Please take me to the vessel. To convert, no longer bear the plane of being in this place. Fair enough. So I think that's the end of this little section. What's that? Can we see what that is? I have a bleeding injury. Okay. Yeah, natural thing within the wall. Ooh, you do have her, so what do you have? So you have... Bring it down? What class are you? Marksman. Interesting, we have a psychic marksman. No, it's leader. Warnings. Okay, so she's got a unique one. Buy it. Okay. It's kind of cool. So we've got two levels with her. What do you have? So bring it down. I'm guessing that's what what isn't showing. Voice of command. Every effort increasing the characteristics by five times. So she wants to stack fellowship. Can we apply to the target the voice coming from any distance? Characters just became the target can't be targeted again for the next two turns. Okay. Get back in the fight. Mute cover from burning. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Persuasion stacking. Inspire courage. It's just gains temporary wounds. So she just buffs people to hell. That's cool. Persuasion. Is it persuasion or fellowship? Fellowship. So persuasion. She's still going to be persuasion heavy. But I think we'll try and get her into other things. 65 persuasion is probably more than you ever need right now. Your time. Leader gives an ally additional turn with full action point this turn. Uh, this turn the ally does. Oh my god. Okay. That's absurd. So, characteristic. Um. I guess you just stack Fellowship up high because it buffs all her good stuff. Willpower would also be a thing. Because she is still a Psyker. But she doesn't seem to use her Psychic much. Which is fair enough. Um, yeah, so we've maxed out Persuasion. Commerce, I guess, is next. Just keep boosting it all. So, Commanding Voice. Range increase, voice command increased by four, Leaves resolve is increased by three. Okay, doesn't have eye strength, so don't get her into melee. But now I use this heroic act that ally guys temporary wounds equal to 10% of the. Okay, focus each time you use this ability. Okay. Personal oversight. Any ally that comes to target of leadership action ability or other, I increase their resolve by one. Uh, okay. Let's have a look at. Are there any unique ones down the bottom here for her? Navigator Origin. Then the navigator uses the navigator's power. Has been used as combat, gains perception. Enemies damaged by the navigator. She wouldn't be doing much of the damaging. Every even, second, fourth turn, the navigator gains an additional action point. Every odd turn, it gains 20 perception. Interesting way of doing it. And then a whole bunch of buffs. Okay, there are so many here. Ah, he's target, targeted by the navigator's power, gain 10% armor. Gains 5% fellowship, an additional fellowship for every navigator talent. Oh. So this stacks with itself. Interesting. Heart of Souls starts so all turns, including extra turns with additional free movement. First ally get to same as additional movement points. Okay. So this stuff is ridiculous. I have oblivion. I wonder what the navigator's sight is. Does that tell me anywhere? In here, maybe? The, the stare. Anyone gazing into all creatures in the cone. Take damage. 
and must pass a willpower test or become stunned. That's really good against a lot of enemies. Bring it down. What's this actually do? Target ally immediately gains a bonus to turn with no movement and action points. Oh, so with no movement points and action points equal to Fellowship divided by two, which is two action points essentially at the moment. If you had, uh, they gain just flat out two times leadership fellowship bonus, move momentum when they kill an enemy. Oh, that's a really good way of getting. Oh my god, you put that on her. Uh, that's scary. That's scary. Uh, anyway, let's actually level up. So we're going fellowship. Go co uh, commerce. Probably with this. I think we have to. This. Oh, do we have to select this before we can select that? Okay. Physical encouragement. It starts to. I gains. Blah, blah, blah. There's just so many choices. What does this one even do? This one doesn't even have a thing. Be vigilant. Features bring it down. Get back in the fight. It removes one flesh injury from target. Heals the target by. Willpower, so we do want to get some willpower on her. For every condition removed, minimum of t uh, half willpower will always be healed, even though conditions are removed. That's kind of cool. I think we start going into the navigator stuff. In the war, and effects by the navigator's abilities gain minus 10 resistance. There, so a little. I kind of want her buffing everyone else. Navigator heals. Uh... Okay, so that's a healing one. Don't need to worry about that so much. She's the buffer. He's damaged by the navigator. Allies target to put in 5% resistance against warp. There's just so many options here. Um, it's higher than agility. It's calculated from. Oh, that's actually really good. That's the one. That's the one. Not necessarily in terms of buff power, but it means you stack these two. You don't have to worry about stacking agility. So she's maxed out fellowship. I guess then we go into willpower. She's not good. What? Are, what? What? She's imperial. Okay. I guess you kind of lock these out of things because only we can gain multiple. Okay, that's kind of cool, right? And then what weapon does she have? Just a pistol at the moment. I think that's better. Just give her a stuff. Uh, um, body glove. Oh, we already have them. Okay. So, we have our navigator now, I guess. Uh, let's have a quick look around. It is like the painting were made by different people. The timid, uncertain lines are followed by rough, ferocious strokes. Okay, she's emotionally unstable. She's a kid. What's this? Well, no one appears to live, be living in. Cage is very small. How could anyone be living in it? Uh, well, no, somebody still filled the trough with dried fruit. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe it lost pet. Goodbye, mistress. What do you think it's about to? I thought we were trying to get you guys out. We're done for. They will kill us all. I cannot take this anymore. Okay, so these guys are all panicking. Just have a quick wonder about the room, and then I think we'll head back to the ship. Private library is brimming with things. A new challenge for me. Luxurious feast untouched. Bunch of cargo pieces that presumably, yeah, holds holy gifts. Is that it? I think that's it. 
Okay, head downstairs. Then, I think that's where we leave the station. I can't think of anything else we need to do. Maybe we could mess around with those chemicals some more, but uh, we did enough of that last episode. So, let's head back, Victory see what we have to say, and then I think that'll be a good episode. Look, like she's just stood at the back. That's her whole thing. Ridiculous psychic power, and it's just nope. I'm standing at the back. <laughs> well, she's come wielding a massive. I don't think you're supposed to equip the staff for this bit. And I am still sat on my spinny chair. Yay! Lord Captain, Lady Navigator, welcome aboard. Thank you for the communicate, uh, communion ritual, but the Lady Navigator wishes to rest in quarters first. Your heart stops beating ferociously, your breath becomes short and choppy, and she's panicking. Um, crew are gathering, going around in puzzlement, searching for the source of sudden wave of unease. Without even looking at the boxmaster, Cassia waves her away. First, I wish to speak with the rogue trader, leave us. Of course, when you are ready for the ritual, please let me know. Gas is get, uh, sweeps her pensive gaze over uh, the box master and then lowers her lashes slightly, turns to you. Uh, so we can either be a dick, be a dick, um, tell me more about what the ritual entails, or uh, we'll be nice. What do you wish to speak about? Who second to lets out a small exhale and then raises her pointed chin. I've not yet thanked you for saving me on the station. My thoughts were clouded with much more, much mournful ash when Theodore's harp stopped, but you acted honourably and did not exploit me in my wretched position. And for that, I am immeasurably grateful. I mean, we could have, you know, killed everyone, but <laughs> we'll get past that. Um, also, do you grateful you saved my servants, especially my valet. U Uvi? Uvi? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Served me on the station more than five years, much longer than any who preceded him. He knows how to properly attend me during journeys that through the Immaterium, and what to serve me for breakfast. His present enveloped me in the cloak of amber. I'm guessing amber is supposed to represent uh, stability, some kind. But now I'm ready to go to the Sanctum, put the sacred rite, acquire brushes, canvases, and the best paints you have on board for no rate. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> um, I mean, okay, okay, I have to ask this. Why do you refuse red paint? I know the answer is going to be because it's blood. Uve will give his blood before the ritual, as always. Okay, that was not the answer I was expecting. Also, that's really worrying. <laughs> uh... Why do you ask for these items? Now it's not time to dodge your paint. It's because her ritual probably involves stuff. I'm actually going to do this one first. Tell me what your ritual, what the ritual entails. I doubt the only one could understand the mysteries of navigation, but I try and explain. I'll try and explain the essence of it. I must merge my mind with the machine spirit and the ship, so I must become one with the, with the vessel. Uh, I see a list of the lock of her hair, back of her neck. Basically, th th they've got parts to plug in. Similar to Matrix. Uh, after that, I use the House of Rulian ritual, which I am low to reveal to you to free my mind from all errant thoughts, and then it is time to open my third eye, peer into the depths of the warp, and the nightmarish visions, mirages, and creatures of the abyss, only to light the Emperor is the truth. Lead me from star to star. But to be clear, the, em the light of the Emperor is not necessarily like the beacon of where you're going, it's a lighthouse in the distance you use to navigate off. It's like a point reference. Um, so system of the light guiding thread. So fine it can slip from one's graph at any moment, but you have no to worry about them. Never lost their course. Interesting. Uh, now I guess we'll ask about the page. It'll be something to do with keeping it calm. Um, 
you're asking questions with the answer you cannot comprehend. Perhaps I can I may explain all, all to all to you at later time, but now is not now our time is too precious to waste. The navigator, I give you my word that without canvas and paint we have little hope of a smooth journey through the warp. I have no reason to lie. Um, I shall ensure that uh, all supplies are delivered. Let's we're being nice. I shall take my leave of you for the duration of the right. I ask that you do not follow me. If you can survive my gate, the gate of my warp eye when it's open. Yeah, I've seen what it does. I don't want to. I have no reason to go there. That is terrifying what you did to what we've seen. You we literally brought a monster on ship. Okay. What do you want now, Mr. Boxmaster? Well, Captain, and I will oversee the open channel between the navigator, maybe navigating the bridge, and may the Emperor's light get help us all. Well, Captain, congratulations on acquiring navigator. Spare me a few moments of your time, please. There are several matters required to attend. First of all, I want to report on the condition of the station. Had you opted to begin your visit the roads on the Rydak station with a different definition, the station could have been critically unstable. Fortunately, the decision to visit the rep representatives immediately brought us special time. We can either send our forces to assemble the station and procure technical technological components for festival, or attempt to save as many valuables as we can. So it did matter what order we went in. Good. I like this game design. Choices matter. Um... I will not stoop load the band station. We are leaving. Can we use the ship? Loop everything from jewelry to the last manuscript. Um. Uh, like. Okay. So this is pirate. This is practical. This is. It's not benevolent. Because no one's really going to be living there. So... I'm going to go with the practical choice. Because I don't see the top one as benevolent. I see it as... It's not even Imperial. Imperials rip their own shit apart at the time. I, I, I'm always sat there going, if, as long as the station would be in use, I would not pillage it. But no one's living there. So, yeah, we're just going to take everything useful. We're not going to loot everything, but we're going to take components that may be useful to the ship. We did take a lot of damage during the intro. As you wish, uh, with your permission, I would like to remind you that you're still looking for a cheap entity. It was probably with the governor. Both the vessel and its machine spirits are in desperate need of oversight of an experienced tech priest. We are also missing some crew. Not yet located. The Inquisitor... Now we know for sure he was not at the station, so keep this in mind for your future plans. Um, top one's being a dick, so we're just going to go with thank you. <laughs> Whatever you say, Lord Captain. Um, okay, so I think that is where we'll leave it for this episode. And I will see you guys next time.